Hi, I'm Elma Kan from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, we are going to be going through how to set up the Printful app so that you can do printing on demand for your Shopify store. So you can find it here in the App Store by just typing in Printful. And just to show you a little bit of what we're doing, so I'm gonna go to our example site, which is tomofit.com. So we are actually doing printing on demand with this site. So we have designed these products and we've added them in. And so what we're using Printful for is they're actually going to be the ones that are printing them on the tank tops and t-shirts for us. So it's helpful because it keeps our inventory cost low because we're not having to stock up all of these products and print them in all these different sizes and have them ready to ship. But instead, Printful actually prints them for us and sends them to the customer as soon as they're printed. So we're not having to invest any money in inventory and sizes that aren't gonna end up selling. And this is a really great way to also test out new designs and see if something's really resonating with your audience or if you wanna try something different. So it really lets you pivot a lot more. And so this is what we're connecting to for our site. So also just a little note about TomoFit. We are going to be adding in weekly videos on this YouTube channel that's showing exactly how we're building out this Shopify store. So we're gonna be sharing apps just like this one that we're using, as well as money that we're spending on advertising, how much money we're making from products and our monthly reports, and everything that we're doing to grow this Shopify store. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified whenever we release new videos. And all of this is gonna help you realize exactly how to implement these tactics on your own Shopify store and grow it with us. Okay, so back to the Printful app in the Shopify store. So once you're here, you'll just hit the Get button. Now we've already added this to our Shopify store. So I'm gonna come back here. So I'm in our Shopify dashboard and I've clicked on Apps in the left-hand menu. And you can see it here of Printful Printing and Warehousing. So I'm gonna just click on this here. And you can see that first off, our store isn't completely synced. Um, so we need to go in and do this. You can see we already have products that we've added in to our Shopify store, which is why you're seeing them here. Um, but they're not all synced yet. So we're gonna first set up our store and finish the settings here. And then we're gonna go in to actually sync up these products. So right up here at the top, it says your store's not ready yet. Finish setting it up. So we're gonna click on that. And if you scroll down, you can see here the items that it says that you need to do. So we've already signed up for a Printful account. We've already added it to our store, which is what doing the adding the Shopify app did. Um, the designing the products, we've still gotta go in and sync some of those, even though it already has it checked. And then we've already set up our billing and payments. So this is how they're gonna be charging your card. So to go in, you'll have a list here. Yours won't be checked yet as soon as you automatically first install it, but you can click on each of these areas. And for example, the, the billing, you can always get to and change that at any point. You can also come up here and click on your account name and you can always go in and change your settings here. So the billing, you could add payment information here. However, we're not gonna go into adding in a credit card. So the last steps that you have to do are going in and finalizing all of this. So these are very important steps of customizing your store So and adding taxes and shipping. So let's go in first to the customize your store. And you can see here that it has all of the information for you in terms of what you need. So as you're going through, you're gonna go through these items and you're gonna set it up for your store and it has information for you as well. Once you have these done, you'll just hit mark as done. So what I really wanna cover in this video tutorial is how to actually get your products synced up. So I clicked on this products in the top left-hand navigation. And so these are our products that are already on our store. So what we're going to do is we wanna sync it so that we make sure that the product is synced up and that they can correctly print everything. So we're gonna edit this strong floral tank. And I'm just gonna click on edit. You can already see here, this is not synced. Um, we have these two designs done and synced up with the print ready file. So that's why those are synced. So I'm just gonna hit edit. Okay, and this is our Shopify product that we already have. 
So for this first variant, we can see that this is the strong floral tank, large, and the t-shirt color is Heather White. So we're gonna go to choose product, and I'm gonna select it from here. So these are all the options of how you can print with Printful. So it is a women's clothing, and I already know the size of the, or the type of product that we're using. We're using this next level for both our t-shirts and for our tank tops. So I'm gonna click on the tank. And then it's, you can see up here, the product that you're syncing. So I wanna choose the large option and Heather White. So here's the Heather White and large. Okay, and then next I'm going to add in my print file. So I'm not doing any printing on the back. However, I am gonna have the design on the front. So I'm gonna just choose it here. And these are two designs I already had uploaded. However, I'm gonna upload a new one and just hit upload. And here it is here and hit open. And you can see here that it's uploading our file. So just while that's uploading, I wanted to go over a few guidelines that I have for you that are what Printful recommends for uploading files. So they recommend that you use a PNG or PSD file, so PNG or a Photoshop file, that you have transparent backgrounds. And this is very important because if you upload a design that has a white background behind it, you're actually going to get that white background printed. So they're going to print exactly how you upload that design. So keep that in mind. Um, you can tell if a file has a transparent background in, for example, Photoshop. Let me come down here. So this is a transparent background and you can tell because I'm seeing the X's through. So you wanna make sure that you have solid colors, which you can see here in our illustrations. Um, there's no transparency in the illustration and then we can see the background here. So we have no background colors. These are solid colors here. If you were to start seeing this checkered background behind um, the illustration, then that means that your illustration has some transparencies. So you'll need to fix that and make that solid colors as well. They also recommend a minimum DPI of 150. So this is the resolution of your file just to make sure that it's nice and crisp printing as well as RGB colors and that you outline your fonts. And this one's really important because if you don't outline your fonts or convert your font files into shapes, they're gonna have to have your print file or your font file. So make sure that you follow these guidelines and I'll link to this image in the description below as well so that you can make sure that you have all of this done on your site um, before you're uploading these print files. So let's go back to our app and great, it's uploaded now. So now we have the design that's uploaded. If you wanted to upload or choose a design that's on another tank top, so for example, this Brave is on a t-shirt. If we wanted to put this on our tank top as well, you could just hit choose but we're gonna choose this strong flower. And you can see now it's put it here on the t-shirt for us. So this is what's actually creating the print files as well as a mock-up for us. So what we can see here, the print quality, you wanna make sure that that's set it good, but we can come in and we can move the placement. So we wanna make this a little bit bigger. So if you drag it, you can see this box the dark gray box of where you can actually put your printing files. So I'm gonna move it up to the top. I want it to be a little bit taller. And then I'm also going to drag it and pull it here so it's bigger on the shirt as well. Now one thing to keep in mind while you're doing this is that if you drag it off, as you can see here, it's gonna get cut off. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're keeping it in that window and where you want it. I also recommend if you come up here and hit zoom in, you can make sure that the placement's exactly how you want it and that nothing's getting cut off on the sides. So again, we're right in the middle and that's a good placement for us. This is a women's apparel shirt, so I wanna make sure it's a little bit higher up on the chest and I'm gonna hit zoom out. So that is our mock-up of our shirt and this is how they're actually getting the print files to actually print your product. So again, I'm gonna just double check that we have large and heather gray, so large heather gray or Heather White, and then I'm gonna hit continue. So if we scroll down, we can see that this has auto-generated the mock-up for us and that it synced it. So now we'll go to the next one of large and premium Heather. 
So I believe it's this one is the premium Heather and it's large. So that looks like it actually made our font or our size a little bit smaller. So we're gonna just recenter that. So it's just because of the placement um, before we had a different size shirt and we're just gonna move that back up. We wanna make sure that it's exactly placed how you want it on the site or on the product because that's how they're gonna print it. So large and premium Heather. And I'm gonna hit continue. And so you're gonna continue this process for all of the different options that you have. So you can see here, we're offering it in multiple different sizes and colors. So you would continue this process to sync everything up, but we're not gonna go through all of this now. However, I do recommend once you go through syncing all of it, that you do just check real quickly and make sure that everything's synced. So you can see here that our variant is large in Shopify and the size is large here, Heather White and Heather White. So again, I think it's great to just go through and double check. It takes a tiny bit extra longer uh, in terms of time of setting everything up, but you would hate to have it the wrong size or the wrong color and find out the hard way when a customer is really not happy. So let's go back to our products. I'm gonna click on products here. And we can see here that we have two synced, but not all, uh, we still have 13 remaining. So this is a good indicator to help you just make sure that you've got all your products synced with a print document attached to it so that they are able to print your file. We can also go in and add a product in directly from the app. So for example, these were already set up on the Shopify site. However, we can add a new product in by hitting this add product and we're gonna choose it from here as well. So I'm gonna go to women's clothing and I'm gonna do a tank top again. I'm gonna click on this next level, which is the product that we're doing. So you can see that there's a lot of different options, but we had already decided to go with this just based on the reviews and the color options that it has. Okay, so next we're going to select the colors that we want it to be. So I'm gonna come in and select the premium Heather, Venetian gray, and white. And then I'm gonna make sure that all sizes are selected. Then I'm gonna come in and let's actually, let's add an, an Envy as well. And I'm gonna do upload file. And choose it from here. So I'm gonna upload another file. Now this is again gonna create the new product for us in Shopify. So where before you had already created it in Shopify um, and I have a video showing exactly how we set up those products in Shopify that I'll link to. But this is actually creating the product in Printful itself and then it's going to copy it into your Shopify store. So it's kind of two steps in one if you don't already have those set up. Okay, and so here's our new design which is Hustle for That Muscle. And we're choosing it and we're going to make it a bit bigger. Again, we want it to just really be nice sized on the shirt. And let's zoom in and just make sure that it's, it's working in that area. Okay, and that nothing's getting cut off. I zoom back out. Okay, that looks good. And Let's actually, so we can see here of how that's looking on the different colors. So it's really popping on the white and the grays and the green. So let's actually try adding in um, another color as well. So let's see, maybe a little too much on that one, but this vintage turquoise, it's looking really nice as well. So I'm gonna add that. And so now we have multiple size or multiple colors as well as the sizes set up. We also had our file set up and we're just doing a front print, not a back, but if you had a back print as well, you could click here and upload your file. So now we've got that set up and we're gonna hit proceed to mockups. Okay, and we've got our mockup set up. We're gonna choose our front one to be, let's see, let's go back here and we'll see, we don't, we have a green one already, but we don't have a blue. So let's choose this to be our main mockup and we're gonna hit proceed to description. 
and I'm going to change this here. So this is how it's going to show up on the site. And I'm just going to keep this description that's auto populated in from Printful right now. However, you can go in and add a lot more um, description to that as well. And the size guide to this product description. We're going to keep it as well as the the sizes and okay and we're ready to go if you had tags here you could do that however we don't have any that we're using on our site so i'm gonna hit proceed to pricing and it shows here of how much the printful price is as well as the suggested retail price and what your profit's going to be so i think our tank tops are yep 25 so that's all working great if you wanted to you could change it in here and then your your product price if you change the the profit it'll automatically change the price and vice versa and we want to make sure that it's published as visible and we're going to choose to have it in the tank designs and for the collection and just hit submit to store so we can see here that it's still uploading this product Okay, great. So now we can see that it's actually on the Shopify area. So if we come over here to the products, we'll see it in our back end now. So the hustle for that muscle, as well as if we refresh this page and we can see it here as well, as well as the different sizes that we have that we chose for our product. So this is working really nicely and it's automatically in and your printing files are ready to go as well. So we'll come back to the app here and you'll continue this process of either syncing up your products or adding in your products directly to the Printful app. Whenever you go to launch your store, just make sure that you have everything set up in terms of your account. So if we come here um, and go to stores, we can see that we have our Tomo Fit store and again we have the options of syncing products but if we click on this edit under settings you can go through here and make sure that you have everything set up so for example under this packing slip this is where you'll upload an image that you can use for your logo so again it says a three by two inch black and white sticker um, so don't do a upload a color option but do this is for your packing slip. It'll actually have your logo instead of the Printful logo. So it still looks like it's coming from you, um, even though you're not having to actually print it. So go through and make sure that everything is set up here for your store. And one last thing I wanted to show you in terms of setting up Printful is that you can actually go in and do a draft order. So if we click on this new order up here in the right hand corner, we can go through and as you're setting up your site, you can do a sample order. So this is really nice because it's giving you the free shipping as well as a 20% discount. And you can do this for three products per order as well as two orders per month. So as you're getting started and you're creating these products, you wanna order a few samples just to make sure that they're looking great in all these different sizes and colors and that your printings are turning out just how you thought they would. So this is a great option of getting a little bit of a discount whenever you're creating that sample order. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful in terms of how to set up the Printful app to do all of your printing on demand for you. It's a really great capability that connects in with Shopify and it really lets you start your store and start creating products and getting them printed and sold very quickly. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more tips and tutorials all about how to grow your online store with Shopify.